Hello, UCAR. Peter Christensen here, coming to you from the CEO's desk. So still on the topic of agency, and had a great comment from Mr. Sloan about uh, interfering with contract or, or agency relationships. Obviously, if you have an agency relationship, it means something. If you got it in writing and it is an exclusive agency relationship, then that means other agents shouldn't try to poach the client away from you. And uh, more often than not, it falls under uh, the non-brazen category. So, you know, someone could just come up and say, I know you're working with someone else, but I'm going to work with you instead. Obviously, it's problematic. That's not how it usually happens. But let's say you meet someone who tells you, yeah, I'm looking for a home. And uh, what's the magic question you should always ask? Well, are you working with another agent? And uh, let's say they give you kind of a vague answer. Like, well, I was, but I'm not anymore. What further obligations do you have, if any? Or is that good enough? Is it good enough to simply ask, are you working with another agent? And they tell you no. Well, it's a little complicated. So article uh, in the Code of Ethics, Article 16, Standard Practice 16-9 says, and I'm paraphrasing here because I don't have it in front of me, but uh, when uh, uh, working with a prospective client, agents have an affirmative obligation to make reasonable efforts to determine whether the prospect is subject to a current valid agreement for the same services. So what does that mean? Well, there's a couple key words in that uh, uh, little phrase. And that is, uh, one, an affirmative obligation. Whose obligation is it? It's yours as an agent to make reasonable efforts. So those are the two operative words in that standard of practice, affirmative and reasonable. So if you make an affirmative effort, well, asking is an affirmative effort. Now, is that reasonable? Is that enough is the question. Most times, probably enough. You say, are you working with someone else? They say, no. You don't have any reason to not believe them. It's probably good enough. But if you start getting clues, like they talk about all these properties they've seen before. They talk about how they used to work with an agent. Um, you get other hints. You see you know, pamphlets from another agent, something along those lines. Well, that kicks in the affirmative part of the obligation, and that is, now I have to do a little more homework as an agent. So I got a hint, you know, I'm gonna ask a few more questions. Do you, did you sign something with this other agent? Uh, what's the other agent's name? Uh, did, was that, how long ago was that? Is, is your agreement with them expired? Because the obligation is on me to determine whether they are subject to a current agreement for the same services. It's on me as an agent. So. I'm gonna to have to do a little more homework than just, well, are you working with someone or no? No, not currently. Okay, good enough for me. Well, what does the currently mean? Okay, were you working with someone? Yeah, and it may result in an uncomfortable phone call where you call the uh, agent and say, are you still working with this person? Do you still have a valid agreement? It's uh, less uncomfortable than an ethics hearing. Let's just put it that way. So, and that's where you'll end up if you uh, end up interfering with an agency agreement. So be careful, do your homework, uh, take that obligation seriously. Remember that the, the general public, the clients, they don't always understand these agency agreements, so they may not understand if they're still obligated to one or not. And uh, a panel's probably not gonna take your, well, uh, they told me they weren't working with someone, excuse if there's a lot of other evidence they were working with somebody and you may find yourself in violation. So keep it clean, make sure you ask questions, make sure you take that obligation seriously. Uh, remember, as always, this is not meant for specific legal advice. This is legal information only. If you need specific legal advice, contact your own attorney. And uh, thanks for tuning in today.